Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 166. All right. So for loops are declared with three expressions separated by semicolons. So we've got something like this for with a as the first expression separated by a semicolon between B and then another semicolon and then the C expression where a is the initialization expression. B is the condition and C is the final expression, right? So we're going to be talking about the first thing, the A right now. Uh, the initialization expression is executed only once before the loop starts and is often used to define and set up the loop variable. Think of it like declaring a counter to use in our loop, all right? Many for loops use I as the counter and start from zero. So we're going to change let X equal one to let I equal zero, all right? So we're just going to change this X to an I and this one to a zero like this, right? And so basically, I mean, I don't know if it's obvious, but what we're going to use this for loop for is to go through this uh, numbers array once we have like the 10 numbers in it. And so we're going to be starting at Z at index zero. And we'll, I'll show you what we're going to do later. But this is pretty much it for now. Let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 167 and we'll see you next time.